Hi everyone, Miss Terry here. We are back to do some more letter K before we move on to a new letter next week. You can start talking with your grown-ups about what letter comes after K. We'll be starting that letter next week. But right now, we're going to practice our letter K. Do you remember what sound the letter K makes? Hmm. 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 It's a throat sound. It happens all the way at the back of your mouth. The back of your tongue comes all the way back to the top of your throat and makes a sound. You can feel it if you put your hand here. Sometimes our tongue wants to come forward to make the tip tapper sound. That happens right at the tippy tip of your mouth, the tippy front of your mouth. <laughs> t -t -t. The tongue tip comes all the way to the front of your mouth, behind your teeth. T -t -t. But that's a different sound. That's the sound that goes with the letter T. But we are practicing the letter K that makes the throat sound. It's the same sound that the letter C makes. All right, we've practiced our we've practiced our k sound that the letter k makes all by itself in a second. Well, let's do it now. Let's practice it in some words where that start with k. Let's practice some k words, words that start with k. When you go to kindergarten, you might do some worksheets or some writing tasks, some circling, some drawing lines to match up. Um, words or pictures of words that start with the sound that you're working on. You'll be doing a lot of that in kindergarten, so it's good to be talking about it now while you're still in preschool. All right, I have my letter K things. Let's see what's in here. Mm, do you remember what this one is? This was one of our art projects that we did yesterday. Kite. K is for kite. K is for keys. K is for kangaroo. K is for koala. And K, oh, that's already keys. We did that one. Oh, K is for kettle. That's something that we can um, boil water in if we want to make tea. There is a tea kettle. That's the handle at the top. You hold it like this. It's very tiny. Kettles are actually much larger than that. They go on top of the stove. All right, we did all of those words. Um, kindergarten is also a word that starts with K. We'll be reading a book about kindergarten today. If you haven't done it already, you can do it after this one. It's not hard. All you have to do is listen. All righty. K is for kite. K is for k -k kitchen. K -k kitchen. K is for k -k kiss. K -k kiss. K is for k -k key. K -k key. K is for k -k king, k -k king, and K is for k -k kangaroo, k -k kangaroo. Well done. All right, now we get to sing the song. Do you remember the name of our song for this week? It is called Keely Kangaroo. Keely Kangaroo happens to be the teacher of this kindergarten class. Let's try out our song. Here's Keely Kangaroo. She makes a K for you. She knows K stands for kindergarten. Now, 
so do you. Can you try singing it with me this time? Here's Keely Kangaroo. She makes a K for you. She knows K stands for kindergarten now. So do you. Last time. Here's Keely Kangaroo. She makes a K for you. She knows K stands for kindergarten now. So do you. Here are some kindergartners. Those are kids going to kindergarten. They're students and she is the teacher and they are in a kindergarten classroom. That's where some of you, some of you will be next year. Some of you will have to wait a little while longer, but some of you are just about there ready for kindergarten. Don't forget to tune in a little later on or whenever you're ready. Have your grown up turn on the book that Miss Terry reads about kindergarten. I'll see you later tomorrow or later today with more activities. See you later. Bye now.